Welcome to the Garden of Odin. This door must come down. Not the overhead door. The sliding door. Can I do it? Safely? Well, let's see. Alright, the door is down. That was easier than I thought it would be. And it's over there. So now, I'm going to lift it so that I get clearance for the sawzall and start cutting panels for the deer blind. I should have started a little bit earlier so I still had shade from the shop on it, but it's not going to get too hot yet when I'm cutting it. So I'm going to make matching sides and one will have the wood on the outside. So I'm going to cut the other side panel from that end. And then I'll use the middle section or the top portion up there and up there for the side walls or for the front and the back. So one's going to have to be the same height as the front of the slope which is about right there, and one's going to have to be the same height, which is about six feet for the back. And then I will still have enough for the roof. Let's get this thing lifted up and get some weight under it, or let's get some blocks. I'm going to get some blocks under it, and then I'll have clearance, and I'll cut my first panel. Okay, the tool I got for the job, by the way, is a Masterforce 12 amp. I decided to go with a 12 amp, even though one of those other Menards, this cheap um, imported ones, was a 6 amp, and it was actually $29.99. But I thought I would go ahead and get the Master Force with a 12 amp. I have a few other Master Force power tools, and I like those. It comes with a carrying case, one blade, one blade. But I bought Bosch Edge, and I've already cut through the boards with the Bosch Edge, <clears throat> what is this, all-purpose one. I got the longer one and then I just cut a slit in the top. It makes it a lot easier to get your blades out and you can still hang it and you won't drop them. So it works for a good carrier. Anyway, now I'm going to switch to a metal blade and I'm going to cut, finish cutting the first panel out. This has a chuckless bit. Just twist it.
early.
a bit ugly, but it's done. Okay. <clears throat> Last cut. This is the roof. And I just want to say that whoever says using a saw is always fun, or a reciprocating saw is fun, is the same person who's going to tell you to try drugs. So, it's fucking nuts. So, anyway, not at all fun, but a useful tool. So you might wonder what the rationale is. Well, you can buy a deer blind, um, solid side deer blind. It goes on a platform for about $2,500. But I had this door on the shop that I left when I had the overhead door put on specifically to build a blind out of. So essentially it was free. So I saw it was $75. And then the is already up. So you can get a solid, solid sided deer blind on a platform for about 10% of the cost of a manufacturer. So that's why if you have materials, use them. If you have time, if you're willing to risk your life with a reciprocating saw and a few other tools, then why not? <laughs>